Okay. So this is how to fix um, Windows 7 install from a USB driver in 2017. I know it's an old problem, but I just upgraded an old computer with a new motherboard and CPU, and I'm running into this problem. And even though there's a ton of fixes, ton of videos on how to fix it, uh, they didn't work for me. A lot of people were saying something about all you got to do is switch the USB drive to a different uh, port or an old 2.0 port and I tried every port on my computer it didn't work um, and then there's some other nonsense about you know like booting into Linux and formatting the drive even though it's already blank uh, none of that crap is useful to me so a little bit of googling and I found this here, uh, Windows 7 USB 3.0 Creator Utility, uh, and that's from the Intel site. So I'll put a link to that in the description. But it's super easy to use. You uh, pick your downloads over here, download it, extract it. Uh, you're going to get three files here. Open it up. Uh, you just point it to where your USB drive is. Um, and it actually just adds the files, it doesn't delete them, doesn't do anything. Uh, which was great for me because I only had the one USB stick, I didn't have another one laying around. Um, oh shit, i cancel. Um, so, so we'll plug in the new one the new version of the USB stick and I'm plugging it right into the 3.0 blue USB slot because you know that's what it's for yes uh, let's see okay install now oh we still have a problem okay let's see here we'll reboot What's going on here? Let's see. Oh, the stick wasn't plugged in properly. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so there's the Windows install screen, and um, let's see here, for some reason there seems to be some kind of lag on the mouse and keyboard. There it goes. Okay, next, install now. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, hopefully it works for you, if not, you know, don't give up, I suppose, <laughs> uh, yeah, alright.